I thought I might just show you the process of painting our little skulls. So I've got some black acrylic paint. You can use any acrylic paint, but when you do buy it from artist supplies and the proper ones, they have more pigment in them. So they actually probably go further. So I haven't spent a lot, a lot of money on paint, but I have got a little kit that I got of all the different colors just to start off with. And I have noticed a huge difference, but any acrylic paint should do, especially for this, because we're just doing a wash over the top. So our little skulls will come out of the oven. They were cooking for, I think I actually put them on for an hour just to make sure that they were cooked properly. So they're ready to go. So what I've got is just the smallest amount of black paint. I'll just add a tiny little bit more, just a very tiny amount of black paint. And then what I've done is I've thinned it down with some water. So I've just got some water here and I was putting it on the paintbrush and just adding it. Now you could just drip it in, would make more sense if you had an eyedropper to just drop some water in there and mix it up. So just making it nice and thin. We also need some baby wipes. And so what we're going to do, that looks pretty good. So we'll mix that up, move the water out of the way, mix that up. So it's nice and thin. It's very much like just uh, watery, watery black paint that's all it is so we'll grab our little skull in fact we'll put this down for a moment Whoop. and this is a very messy process i don't know how many times i've cleaned my hands we'll grab a baby wipe now if you're more to, wanting to be kinder to the environment feel free to use a cloth that you can just wash afterwards so we'll put that down there we pick up our skull and what we're going to do is very simple is simply cover the whole lot with that wash so everything, including the horns. And then what we're going to do is actually wipe a lot of it away. So we'll just put this on here. Uh, I've got the dogs fighting in the background. I'm gonna pretend that I can't hear them because otherwise I'll get really cross with them and have to yell. I'd rather not do that. I don't think you need to hear that. So we're just putting that on every single part of our little skull, even the back. We'll do the back as well. And then after we've done that, so I'll do all the pieces I can reach whilst I'm holding it. Oh, there's a little bit I've missed there. Now we are going to be wiping most of this off and just leaving some little bits as accent, I guess. So all we're going to do now is to wipe it off. And so you can see that most of the surface paint comes off, but it accentuates those little details that we went to so much trouble putting in. So give it a nice quick wipe. Don't forget to do the back. Wipe off most of it. Now, if you'd rather do a brown or even a mix of brown and black, then you could do that too. You could even put a little bit of green in with it if you wanted to, just to do the details that you would like. But I've just used black. So we've still got lots of black in those details there and do the same thing to the front that we did to the, uh, the back of the skull. Make sure that we get all of those details in and then we wipe it off again. And then that's it. And all you have to do then is put uh, sealant over the top. So I'll probably just use the Sculpey Glaze. Uh, you can, could use a glossy one or a matte finish or you can use polyurethane. So uh, I know that's usually used for wood but we can actually use that on polymer clay. So there's our little skull ready for our desert garden, except I'm just going to do the top again. There's a little bit there that I've just made a mess of when I was holding it. So wipe that down and there's our skull. And you can see that all of those details have come through with that wash. So there we go, there's our skull already for our cactus garden. And if you don't think that there's enough paint, like looks like that eye isn't standing up quite enough. So just add a little bit more. And then this time instead of rubbing, I'm just going to just dab it. There you go. So there's our skull ready to go into our cactus garden. It's looking not bad. I, like I said, I, I'm not interested in perfection. I just like it to look good, but I'm not interested in perfection. And in nature, there's no perfection anyway. Everything's individual and just 
beautiful because it's of its individuality. So there's our skull ready to go. I just thought I'd show you that painting. So I'll let that dry and then I'll give it a clear coat of sealant. I'm still noticing that I'm putting, because I've got a black thumb, I'm putting more on there. So make sure that you're happy with it before you leave it to dry. So there you go. Almost complete, just needs that sealant on top and then it's ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>